Dan Larson here, and I'm at the photo booth with some good news, bad news, good news, good news. It's opening weekend of flea market season. Bad news, uh, not yet, weather permitting, and the weather isn't permitting yet, but good news. We have a few more packages to take a look at from the P.O. Box, so let's jump right into that. Hopefully next week, no promises, but hopefully next week we'll be able to dive into some flea market finds. Let me just uh, take a second here and clear all this stuff out of the way. One second. All right, and this one is from, this one is from Carlos uh, out of Hop Hopkingville, Kentucky. Carlos, thank you very much. Let's, uh, let's open this up, see what we got inside here. Blade. This is the same blade I've been using pretty much the entire time we've been doing this. Good old faithful that doesn't actually have a sharp... See, if you're concerned about me hurting myself with the blade, don't worry. It's not sharp anymore. It barely cuts through cardboard. Carlos was nice enough to reach out to me on Instagram and asked if I had been able to locate the Scarlet Witch Vision MCU 2-pack. At Toys R Us, uh, my Toys R Us, of course, was closing just like they all are, and I had not, uh, I hadn't, I had not been able to locate it. So, <clears throat> Carlos asked if uh, I was interested. I said, yes, please, thank you. Uh, and he sent these in uh, for me to take a look at. We're gonna, I'm gonna open them up right now and take a look at them. That is taped, as it should be. There we go. I already have the regular Scarlet Witch, so I'm definitely interested to see that face. Looks incredible. Uh, definitely looking forward to uh, putting those two next to each other and seeing just how much better it is, and if there's any other differences. Uh, when I before I get a figure, I follow a lot of people on Instagram, a lot of toy accounts. I follow a lot of people on YouTube. Uh, but here's the thing, I don't watch videos and I try not to look at people's opinions of things before I have that thing, if I'm gonna get that thing, uh, because I don't want their opinions to influence mine. Um, so I don't know for sure yet if anybody has talked about uh, what the color paint differences are on Scarlet Witch there, uh, because I haven't been, I haven't been reading anything about it. This, I don't know how they get these things through here when they're putting these together. Look at that cape. Nice looking cape. That translucent. Pretty much nailed that. They nailed that for the look in the film. What a nice looking figure. It's still no uh, Vision in V-neck sweater, which uh, really, really needs to happen. Uh, you know, I just said that whole thing about not uh, paying attention to what other people are saying about uh, figures before I get them, but uh, I have seen some people mention that Vision might be a tad bit short. Uh, I don't really care. He looks great. This is fantastic. I'm just uh, very excited that we actually have uh, a realized version of Vision uh, to put with uh, the MCU display. That is pretty cool. And huge thanks to Carlos uh, for making sure that I have those in my collection. I genuinely appreciate it. Thank you, Carlos. And this one is from Christopher in Chicago, Illinois. Let's see what we got in here. Been to Chicago a few times. Uh, I used to go to Chicago back in the day when they were doing, uh, when Wizard World was out there. Uh, I went to that a few times, pretty much when it started back in the 90s. Uh, I don't think they still do that, but I've been to it. Look at this box of fun stuff here. Holy cow, what's going on? What is going on with this, Christopher? All right, we got Spock and Beast Man. Two, I, I haven't even seen these on the shelves in my area yet because my area gets nothing. Uh, but I do have He-Man and Skeletor, so uh, Beast Man was definitely one that I wanted to pick up as well as Tila. Not sure I'm interested in the uh, Fry and Bender, um, but uh, definitely wanted to grab the uh, Beast Man and Tila. So that is very cool, thank you very much. Uh, I am fine if they wanna just keep on making 
all the He-Man characters. You got to get at least as far as Clawful and Buzz Off and Webstore. Uh, those are my guys. So but this is great. You know, I wasn't sure about this line at first, but uh, it's it's grown on me a lot. Uh, I wish they were just a smidge bigger, but uh, but I'm digging. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm impressed with the amount of detail that they're putting on them. Uh, and then Spock is pretty cool too. I don't. Uh, oh, so this is. Uh, I wonder, is this the mirror? I don't, I, I don't know a ton about vintage uh, 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 original Star Trek. Um, I can't tell if that's a belt on him, like a cummerbund type of belt or what. But I know he's got the uh, weapon from the. Uh, was it the Mirror Mirror fight fight an evil Spock episode? This is fantastic. Haven't seen this in my area yet. Uh, thank you very much for sending this out. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you now. I'm gonna have to get a second one of these because I do need to have uh, a unlit. Uh, Human Torch Johnny Storm character, and uh, I, I don't think they're going to be releasing one with this body. And I've seen a lot of people doing that, uh, putting the Johnny Storm heads on this and custom heads and whatever. Uh, I'm going to have to look out and see if I can find myself a uh, custom, not on fire Johnny Storm head, uh, or if this is going to be good enough. Uh, but that is really great. Thank you. I'm very, uh, I, I'm, this is incredible. Thank you very much, Christopher, for sending that out. Awesome stuff. Thank you. And this box is from Anton in Alamogordo. Alamogordo, never been there, but uh, is that... Uh, that's where they tested the atomic bomb, right? Alamogordo? That's the uh, one of those uh, testing facilities. That's... Uh, I, obviously, they didn't test it on the city. Uh, but uh, where's that? Or is that where... Uh, is that where they were doing the science of the atomic bomb? I don't know. Uh, for whatever reason, I have Alamogordo uh, it, associated in my brain as uh, one of the places that has something to do with the atomic bomb. Uh, I probably could have wikipedia would that uh, ahead of time. I hope I didn't just cut through a note here. Okay, no, the note's in the box. All right, good. Good, good, good. Don't want to cut through that. All right, box of fun stuff coming up. What do we got here? This is ah. Well, I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate this being labeled. I would have known that uh, I would have known it was from Toxic Crusaders. Uh, I would not have been able to come up with the name No Zone, which is uh, clever. Got to give them credit. That's a clever name. Um, Toxic Crusaders. Uh, one of those weird shows. Uh, I definitely watched it when it was on. Uh, theme song's all right. Uh, it was one of those lines where they were trying to sort of uh, find a continuation and expansion because these are playmates, right? For uh, another oh well, trauma, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's right in there. Taking a, trying to take advantage of that whole Ninja Turtles craze. These are obviously uh, this could have fit right into the Ninja Turtles line. It's it's pretty similar. But uh, yeah, Toxic Crusaders. Uh, I didn't know until years later, and I'm sure that was part of the plan. What uh, Toxic Crusader the movie was really all about. Uh, and how incredibly inappropriate it was for kids of age that uh, were watching the cartoons. Um, yeah, so that was an interesting revelation when that happened. Uh, one of those things you just can't believe actually uh, occurred. All right, what do we got here? This is uh, Dormammu, build a figure part. This is a Swamp Thing. Ah, sorry, Groot, not Swamp Thing, Groot. Got a Groot lower torso there. Uh, and then this, uh, oh, this is probably Dormammu uh, torso here. Um, I'm not sure which parts of Dormammu I already have. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to take a look at that. I'm not 100 percent sure. I definitely because I didn't buy that whole wave. I got uh, I got movie Doctor Strange. I think that might have been all I got from that wave. I didn't get Enchantress. I didn't get Baron Mordo. I didn't get uh, Ast uh, Astral Plane, whatever it is, Projection, uh, Doctor Strange. I didn't get the comic book Doctor Strange. Maybe that's it for that wave. I think that, uh, yeah, that might be it for that wave. And then uh, what else we got here? The big piece is uh, a Forces of Destiny Sabine Wren. Um, my wife actually has one of these, but uh, she did not open any of them. So I'm gonna open this one. Not right now because uh, I think. Oh, you know what? It's cracked. Good. It's cracked on the side. I won't feel bad about opening it anyway. Um, I, uh, I haven't. I don't think I can do this quickly enough to. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that right this second. But uh, that's a great piece. Uh, I love Sabine. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about that character when they first introduced her. To me, it felt like, oh, you're just trying to get another Boba Fett in there. But uh, after you know, four, five seasons, whatever it is, uh, I've really uh, grown to like that entire Rebels crew. And Sabine especially, and I mean the whole Boba Fett 
mythos thing, the Mandalorian thing. That's just so blown up at this point that uh, it's never a surprise when a new Boba Fett-looking character comes out. Uh, it is uh, hilarious, however, that uh, every single character that is Mandalorian-inspired uh, is more developed than Boba Fett at this point. But we'll see. The Solo movie's coming out, and here's hoping. Uh, I cannot remember for the life of me what these are called. Uh, it's a little after my time as far as things I would have been collecting as a kid. Obviously, these are only a couple of years old. Um, but uh, it's not Beyblade. Is it Beyblade? It's not Beyblade. I can't remember what the name of these are. Um, but uh, I don't know anything about the mythology here. I don't know anything about... Uh, the names of the characters, the, I think there's a game here involved, I'm not 100% sure, but, uh, it's definitely the kind of line that I would have 100% been all over, uh, if it had been released in, like, 1985 or 1986, um, so that's a pretty cool little batch of stuff. Anton, thanks for sending all this stuff in, uh, this is a really great button, fun, excuse me, fun bunch of, uh, bits uh, and pieces here. Uh, I'm, whoa, 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 whoa. I think I have an extra Groot leg. Um, I definitely have a completed Groot, but uh, if nothing else, I uh, thank you for sending these in. So uh, if, if I'm either not trying to complete that figure, I'll be able to swap out with uh, somebody who's got a piece I need. Um, but uh, I wouldn't mind having a complete Dormammu. I just don't know which pieces I have. Anyway, thanks a lot for sending that stuff in, Anton. This is a really great uh, bunch of stuff. Thank you again to Carlos, Christopher, and Anton. Lots of fun stuff. Very much appreciated. Check out my Instagram where I'll be posting photos at Toy Galaxy. Thank you for watching. Later.